In 2000, a woman named Susan Berman is found murdered in her Los Angeles home, a gunshot wound to the back of her head. This is a gunshot wound to her head. That means the killer had to be near her. She had to trust the killer. There was one person in Susan Berman's life that she was very close to. That man was Robert Durst, the heir to the renowned Durst real estate empire. They both became incredibly loyal to each other. It was them against the world. In order to understand Durst's connection to Berman, you have to start from the beginning with his first wife, Kathy McCormick Durst. And was the dominant person in the marriage. I think she kind of got tired of some of the I mean, you know, she got tired of- Absolutely. He, during that time, Kathy went to nursing school and then to medical school. As she became more independent of Durst, he became more controlling and more violent. Kathy McCormick Durst vanished in 1982. There's one odd aspect to Kathy's disappearance that may connect these two women. You know about I think Kathy's okay. If you're trying to figure out what's wrong with her, the first thing you do is you call her family and you go, hey, have you seen Kathy? It's just a weird, do you see what seems strange about calling the police first? I didn't feel like talking to her family and friends. But the last time he saw Kathy, he drove her that night to the train station in South Salem, where she got on a train headed to New York City. We know that you flew out here, San Francisco, on December 19th. I think, Bob, that, that you drove down to Los Angeles. Killed Susan? I do. Go back? You know, you don't take red-eye flights very often. Did you know that? Very infrequently. And usually you don't buy your tickets right at the counter. Would you agree? Usually I make reservations. Right. right. On December 23rd, you end up buying that ticket at 10 at night at the counter in San Francisco. Just doesn't make sense. I yeah, know. yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I'm just not going to be able to answer that because oh, I just don't. Okay. Hard to explain. Unusual. He gets there just before she is killed, and he leaves right after she is killed, and he has a plane ticket in his own name. There's one piece of evidence unlike anything else. After Berman was murdered, a letter was sent to the Beverly Hills Police Department. The letter, postmarked the day before police discovered Berman's body, was imprinted with Berman's address and the word cadaver. Back in the early 2000s, eccentric real estate heir Robert Durst had a problem. In New York, an investigation was reopened into the disappearance of his missing wife, Kathy McCormick Durst. In California, he had been linked to the murder of his best friend, Susan Berman, an alleged witness to the suspected killing of Kathy. In order to escape media attention, he decided to move to Texas, but his troubles don't end there. He rented an apartment across the way from him in another apartment was a guy named Morris Black. Robert Durst and Morris Black ended up spending a lot of time together. Morris, get out of here. I don't ever want to see you again. He takes the gun out. I grab him and the gun and we fall down to the kitchen. The gun goes off and shoots him in the side of the face. What went through your mind? I can't go to the police. My neighbor is lying on the kitchen floor. Oh, and by the way, I'm a rich guy from New York, and my first wife disappeared. Cutting somebody up with a saw is a really difficult thing to do. I agree. And you've done that now twice, correct? I'm not going to go there. Okay, 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 all right. Once. Oh, one, okay, okay, okay. Well, I get, gotta ask. In his explosive trial in 2003 for the murder of Morris Black, Durst took the stand and admitted he chopped up the body, but argued he killed Black in self-defense, a claim that was hard to refute given there was a critical piece of evidence missing. The jury ended up acquitting Durst of murder. 
I think some of the jurors were swayed by his celebrity and his wealth. Despite circumstantial evidence that Durst may have murdered his best friend Susan Berman and was perhaps involved in the disappearance of his first wife, Kathy McCormick Durst, Durst was not criminally charged in either case. Yet beginning in 2010, Durst did something odd. Durst agreed to a series of interviews that would eventually be produced into a documentary entitled The Jinx, which would air on HBO in 2015. While Durst would say some controversial and arguably incriminating statements, there was one moment on the documentary that changed everything. At one point, Durst goes to the bathroom, yet he doesn't realize he's on a hot mic. Of course. There are lots of things that I know. Um, and, and, and I know it's tough, and I'm guessing right now you're probably nervous, is that right? I'm scared? I mean, it's, you know, this is a terrible place to be. The interview you've been watching of Durst and L.A. Prosecutor John Lewin occurred right after Durst was arrested in Louisiana. The tapes from this interrogation and the jinx would prove to be critical pieces of evidence in a brand new case spearheaded by Lewin. That case was the People versus Robert Durst. After 15 years, the real estate heir was officially charged with first-degree murder for the killing of Susan Berman.